Haruhiko Kuroda took over as governor of the Bank of Japan in March of 2013. Two months before Kuroda took over, the BOJ signed a landmark accord with the former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to reach 2% inflation in the shortest time possible. After being sworn in, he committed to a two-year deadline to reach that target and introduced his bold strategy called quantitative and qualitative easing, the first step in what soon became known as his monetary bazooka. A year later, Kuroda fired another shot, the infamous Halloween surprise, shocking markets as the BOJ nearly doubled its yearly bond purchase target from 50 to 80 trillion yen. In January of 2016, the BOJ narrowly voted to cut its key rate to negative 0.1%. The public backlash was immediate and fierce. Eight months later, the BOJ adopted its most innovative step of all, yield curve control, tying the 10-year Japanese government bond yield to zero and becoming the first central bank in the world to take this radical monetary step to spur inflation. By the time Kuroda was reappointed, inflation was above zero, but it didn't reach the 2% target. Kuroda then fine-tuned YCC by allowing it to move around double the rate of 10 basis points on either side of zero. In early 2021, concerns were growing after the BOJ became the biggest single holder of Japanese stocks. By September 2022, a weakening in the yen helped boost the BOJ's key inflation metric, reaching 4% by the end of the year. Three months later, Kuroda rocked markets once again with a surprising decision to widen the 10-year yield band, doubling it to 0.5%. By 2023, investors are already betting some of his ultra-loose policies will be dismantled before long. How history will judge Kurodonomics is still uncertain as a new team prepares to take charge of the BOJ.